أعوذ بالله السميع العليم نشاطنا رجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين we give thanks to Almighty Allah who has made this an easy one for us this is part of my community service as an I O U student and I pray Allah Rajal should make it beneficial for me and you. So in this module we are starting our graphics design with mobile phone for my community and today will be our first class. Today will, tonight will be our first class which I'm going to be introducing to the software and some basics of graphic design and based on what I've informed you guys in the group so it's gonna be a, 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 a recorded whereby you guys will have to watch and practice whatever I teach you so this session I will be introducing you to the software that we'll be using which is pixel lab so this is pixel lab for, for you to download pixel lab you can go onto your play store you can go to your play store this is play store as you can see this thing is play store so play store so once you click on play store at here now you can search for Picture lab P I C U C picture pixel lab sorry pixel lab pixel lab so something like this pixel lab um so because it's here my phone that's why you see installed here you can see installed here you can see space showing installed so because it has already been installed so or based on the app I give you that is uh, and there in that app you have the access, access to the pro version you can go to the app that i gave you i said you go to uh, on your browser assume this is my browser so on this browser now you click sorry this is my browser so on this browser now and i click on my google so on your at your url here Actually, I don't know. So you type moda.me. So once you type moda.me, so it will take you to this platform. Then you just type moda, M O W D, moda.me. You can see it. So with that, press enter. So it takes you to around here. So when it, when you get to this area, so this search bar here. As you can see here, it's just that. So it is where you now click on. Take hold it down because you didn't hold it down. You see, it will be loading on our pages for you. So once it takes you to another page, come to this place, this box that I see here. So that box is where you now click so that you cut, you close the, you see, you close the uh, tab. And go back to mother.me now here is blinking now all right so hold it down once hold it down so it's very it's a bit tricky times to get it done because if you click it click it one it will still be taking you you have to hold it down to ensure that okay you can see it's somehow it's a bit tricky so if you press this one hey good now it shows you can now search for p I X Pixel Lab. So I'll type it then search. So once you click on search, now you have to you have to verify so that shows that you are a human being. So now let's try to verify. So once you verify and show you that you're a human being. So the same thing any app you want to download. That involve uh, pro, so through this uh, platform you can get it there free of charge. So the pro version we are available for you. The same application I'm using to record now. So this is a uh, uh, mobile zone, and I'm using the pro version. So this is where you 
download this application so you can see there so it has come up once it, it comes up remember my, my the, the way this this thing is showing here on my phone is because i activated desktop mode i'll show you how to do that as well so here now what's on your home your home might not be showing like this so at this place you see here is where you click on this place when you click on it it will now take you to where you download then you click on download once you click on download so the this is the last place now here this here here you can see this place is where you click once you click on this place so it will now be asking you to download now click on this download now if you click on this download something might happen if i show on that tab so don't worry if you take it on that tab no problem so once you click on it you can see so that goes in take me to another tab so in your home it might be taking to another tab just close the tab and go back to the tab because i've already downloaded this i don't need to download it again so you can see i think downloading the app is now easier the same thing with other apps that we're using if it's canva the same thing just go and search there for canva and search any application that you might be using for this training so you can it here you can find it here then go back to your google uh your, your uh, how do I call it? Play Store. So, apologies for the baby that is crying. That's my daughter. But I have no way to push her. So, she's always my companion until 2, 2 a.m. We are still together. So, let's go. Let's dive in. Mm -hmm. Let's dive in, baby. Now, having done that, we are moving to our app itself. I'm moving to the app. This is Pixel Lab. I want to open the Pixel Lab. Pixel Lab. Yeah. I see the app here, Pixel Lab. So now I'm gonna click on it, Pixel Lab. Now that I've clicked on the Pixel Lab, I'm having just one percent on my phone. Pray the Nepal doesn't take light. So this is Pixel Lab for you, for those of you that might not know what it's or what Pixel Lab is. So Pixel Lab is just like your normal application as you have your current draw Photoshop on your laptop. So on phone, Pixel Lab is one of the Software that we use in graphic design, so it's so powerful, it's so magnanimous. So just have to have the trick to navigate through it. Now let's start with the uh, with identifying our interface because if you don't know the interface, you don't know how to navigate through it. All right. So I'll start from the top here, from this top here. This place that I see here. Yes, this is. Uh, So this place is the place that you can add anything you want to add. So you can add text, shape, line, anything you want to add. That's where you add it. So this add, I will click on this add. So it's because we are still on. So this add. Is it that you come here or here now? Let's see. I'm just okay. Sorry, this add. You can see you can add text, you can add dates, you can add sticker, shapes, or images from gallery, or you can draw. These are one, two, three, four, five, sixteen. You can do six activities through that plus icon. So you can add text. Add text. So let's start with text now. If I say I want to add text, I click on text. So as you can see, you can see new text here. New text has already shown here. So I now double click on the text box again. Edit the way I like. Edit the way I like. I can see hello, 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 hello. Voila, you can see now. There's a problem. The problem is that it is like this. I'm going to take you to the center. Mm. No, you are not here. You are not here, yes. Once you are here, once you are there, you get to understand this. Alright? So, let's go back. So, the next one is the save icon. 
the save icon here after the plus the next thing that follows is the save icon this one the next thing that follows this is what is the save icon so this save icon is where you click if you want to save your projects anything you are doing that is where you click on so follow this is shared button shared button here we have the share button is where you want to share you want to export your file that's where you click on and quotes you want to quotes you want to add quotes so let's click on this code and let's see what happens you click on quotes what happens to the quotes you see you come in you can see different quotes that are pre-built they are inbuilt in it so a creative man is motivated by the desire to achieve not by desire to beat other setting goal is the first step in turning the so these are quotes a lot of quotes that you can use you can use mm -hmm. so just click on anyone let's click on the first one can see you see already let's leave this one so this one is here a creative man is motivated by, uh, by the desire to achieve not by desire to beat others so that's a beautiful quote right so the next one which is like a menu these three dots we call it eclipse eclipse so or menu icon so when you click on it so it shows you other function you can use image from gallery full screen use image from camera export image image size contact tutorial so this tutorial is where you can still learn more about different use cases of uh, of uh, Excel lab, all right. Then you want to recover how to save files. You want to open Excel lab file. Mm -hmm. So these are what are there. Only by that, the next one is you can see under here we have this pen. You click on this pen. The same thing you can see. Pen like you want to write here is copy. The next one I'm talking about. Let me click on this. Here I'm talking about this. Here, yes, this one is copy. I want to copy or you want to duplicate? Sorry, I want to duplicate. If you should click on this one, it will duplicate for you. The next one, which is this one, is to add text to it. So if I'm not if I'm not going through this plus icon that is up, you can go through this pen icon, like edit icon, as there. Then here is navigation. If you want to shift to the right, to the top, to the left, to the back, to the front. Then here is to fill. Or to fill. You want to fill with package. You want to fill a, a text or an object with any color. And here is copy. And here is paste. All right. You can see there. Hmm? Okay. After the, after that, the next thing. To observe the next thing to observe here is the icons that are here this area hey the first one is like a here now this one is like a uh, how do i call it a folder yeah it's a folder where you can save all your documents then all this one they are the pre-built uh background that comes with a uh, pixel lab mm -hmm. They are the pre-built background that comes with Excel Lab. You can see them different, different. If I should click on the first, this is the first that is there. If I click on this, it changes. You can see it has changed. If I click on this, it changes as well. On this, it changes. It changes. So these are what comes with Excel Lab automatically, automatically. All right. So after that, we'll be moving to the next one, which is all this one here. So this first one now is just like a default color that is here. We always a default background that is here. So if you click on here, it's a default. Anything picture is default already. Mm -hmm. So then here is here is text editor I want to edit text as add text add post so if any text is there before input this now now that you can see we have something here this a brings so many other things again to show when this thing is not here I'm coming 
when this thing was not here, let's delete this text. Delete. Now see this A now. On what shows? It only shows these two, add text or quotes. Hmm. But once there is a text inside, so it will bring other functionality that you can work with. So let's go back to our quotes. Bring something like this. You can see now here. Yeah. As for this one too, the first one here. Let's see something. Yes, you click on here now. What do you see? Nothing. Not. Let's click on here. So you can see, once you click on here, everything here shows up again. So this is just like a background uh, editor. Here yeah, it's, it's also change background. The same thing here. This place too. Here. Yeah. It's also for background. It's also for background. If you want change background also, when you click on it, let's say you click here. So you can see once I click here, it shows color, it shows transparent background, image, add image. So all this thing, uh, then e it is image size. You can see, add images, it brings all seven images and my add. Hmm? You can see all these images are produced in a pixel lab. You can see, all right now. What else again? Then we have this other one here. This one here. This one is for objects like shapes. Shape editor. So if let's say I had something here. This is text. This is a text, right? Now here you can see import image draw shape this should not click on shape let's click on shape shape enters understand the same thing this is this same thing that i did now i can also get it from here add sorry copy so shape from this plus up here you can see shapes so different type of shape that I want to I want to add. I'll come here. I see different type of shape for this number we have. So we are just trying to explain the interface. All right. So cancel. Also, uh, we've talked about those one at the bottom. So the next one that I need to talk about is this. Yeah, this one here. So here is just like a redo. This first one now is a redo. Here is to zoom in. And here is to add a kind of uh, a grid line so as to size and uh, maintain the aspect ratio of your graph. And here is layer. I want to change layers. Now, let us let's start with the, the redo. Now, here, let me do something. Let me add a shape. Come in. I want to add a shape. Now, I've added a shape. All right. This shape now, I don't want it again. I want to redo it. So, I'll just come to this place. Here. I'm Click on it to you can see it has reduced. So the bad thing is that in uh, in Pixel Pixel Lab for now there's nothing like redo. We really have on there's nothing like undo. We really have redo. I don't know if I'm getting it. So for now this is what we have. Then the next one is a zoom. So if I want to zoom, hmm, let me click on this. So the zoom in represents. You can see zoom in is represent. You can see the more I'm zooming. How, how do I do, do, do zoom? I pinch my hand hmm, on the screen. Like I put my hand like this, two hands, and I take it on the screen. Then I send it outside. The more I'm taking it outside, the more it is bigger. And the more I'm dragging it inside, the more it is shrink. It shrinks. So this is how to do that one. Then the last one is this page, this, this, this uh, other call it grid line. So before because of this now let's change our let's change our background. Let's change it to black. Yes. Change this back up to black. Alright. Then now everything is set. Everything is set. Now let's say I want this one, two, three, four. 
by four columns. I want to add more to it. So I'll just click on this. I click on here, right? So once I click on here, you can see this place here, and the other one with this with settings. So those are what we need here, here, and here. These two are what we need. So if I should click on the U first, this U, I should click on this. So you can see. Um, no, I click on this U now. What happens? Because anything does not happen. Let's click on this. Ah, uh, you can see. Once I click on this settings here, this one that adds that shows settings and the good logo. So I mean this one. Let's click on it. So if you click on it, hmm, you can see it shows something here. How this thing? This one. This one. This one. This one. This one. Now you should know that here is a bit red, right? So this is the one that is active. This is the active uh, line for now. So if I should say I want to add more to top or below, so here is add towards the right. Or if you are, if you pick any, let's say you pick any vertical line. Vertical line are a line that runs from top to bottom, right? Any line that runs hmm, like this, the vertical line, this one, vertical line, vertical line. So here are horizontal lines. So if I want to add more vertical line, it means that I want to add here to the right. This one is where I will click on to add to the right. But now here, you know that the middle one here is one that's highlighted. So if I if at all I want to add to it, so is that I click on this one which is add to the bottom here. So now or oh, on it, I can take it and drag. Let me demonstrate for you now. Here, if I click on this, you can see it's at the bottom. All right. Now let me click on any vertical line. Let me see. I click on this one now. This vertical line is click now. So I want to add to this. I click on this vertical one. You can see it's added. It was added to it. Hmm? It's added to it. So, here I want to delete anyone that is highlighted is with the one that we delete. I'll click on this one and see to delete. All right, so click on it once it has deleted. So, this one to want to delete it, same thing. Click on this X, click on this X, it will be deleted. I want to add from right, right, I want to add both right and left. I want to switch, sorry, I want to switch to another one. Hmm? And on this. So, Position center percent, you can see. So, 41 percent. Okay, I see I change the position. So, depending, so here is where you try to change the position. Here you change the position, and here is the reset. <laughs> so, if I should click on that reset, <laughs> so you can see something. Number of four, I want to by three. If it is four, I see four horizontal rule and four. Column. You can see 4 by 4. Depends if you want 10 by 10, same thing. You just have to click on coming. So the same thing. You just have to click on this area. When you click on this area, you can add more. Let's say I want to add it, I want to make it 10 by 10. So just click like this. Then Ten by ten, you can see. So this is the introduction to the interface. This is the introduction to the interface. So today now, what we're gonna do now is that I will change our uh, this back. Okay, let me just delete this thing here. I don't know if it gets me. How I just delete? The way I want to delete this uh, grid line. What I just do is that here, I click on this thing, so then it disappears. Same to just do. Just click on it, it disappears. So I want to take back the grid line. So click on this, so it has gone. Then this our 
uh, background. Let's change it. Don't forget, you're supposed to change the background. You've come to this area, so by default, so I have to change it. I just have to come back, pick here. Then this is our default. All right. Okay. Now that I've chosen the default. So the next thing for me to do is that you know I say I, I need a a, a, a a white background, right? So I'll come back to this area. Sorry, come back to here. Sorry, I want to show you. I'll come back to here to pick background. I want to click. I want to click on it now. Click on it. So now, because I want to change this into plain white, right? I want to change the background to plain white. I have to click on this one. Then notice that once I click on it, it shows me color and gradient. Now, gradient is uh, is highlighted here. I don't know if you can see here gradient. If it's a plain color, it is this one. This top one I will click on. Now, because I need plain color, I have to switch it back to this. First one, all right. Now let's switch. Mm, click on this. You can see the changes now. So once this change, so I need a plain white. I just have to click on this plain white. Voila. Or if it's some, let's say we, I need another color like purple or green. So you can see the once I'm, st I'm scrolling it, it shows. So another method to change is for you to click on this plus itself. This plus, click on it. Once you click on it, it takes you to this radio one and select from this uh, circle so you can just switch from anywhere around this area so anyway you click the color will send it so let's say i want to click on here or oh, let's say here i want to click here so i just click on it with my hand so you can see the color changes here can see the color changes here so well, we need white mm -hmm. we need white so i just switch this thing take it down to it because here is white all right so i'll take this down here and from there, white switch to here. I'm taking the center force, all right. Then this one switch it to final one. You can see here. So, the other thing is that in color, you might know the color that you are looking, you might know the color code that you are looking for. So, here also is where you can work on this. Here, you can change the color code. Here is FFFF, and here is the number code. Or pay white, so if you know it as well, you can do it here by clicking on here. Click on this place. Hmm? As for here, here is like you want to you want to use a preview color, maybe from an image or from the text, the, the, uh, as the case may be. All right, so now we turn it to our white. Let's say okay, turn it to our white. So So let's say okay. Good. Now the next thing is that I want to write a name. I want to write a uh, Bismillah. 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 Now, I say this place. I click on this text. So this text now is here. It's expecting me to double click. I double click it. Then here. I'm having, I don't know if it's easy to support Arabic too. But let me first write it in English. Bismillah. Bismillah. Now, one thing is that this text, this, this thing now, the text seems to be white. That's why we can't see it. It's white. So, the text now, I'll click on this area. This A here. Because it's one that's leave with text. And now I'm on text. I want to edit the text. So, here now, the text now, I'll click on it. Now, if I click on it, you can see this text now. Here is style, text style. I click on here. There's only to be guys. So, here is edit. I don't need edit. Delete. No. Copy. No. Font. No. So, I need the, 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 the color. Now, I can click on this, this color. Then, let's say I want it to be black. You can see. It's okay, thanks to black. I need this word. 
the same thing color is returned to red any color you want just play around them all right you can see you can see so what is how that one is then you know because by default everything will be, will, will be highlighted let's add to another part of it so by saying now this me all right here now and i put color you can see only this me as do la as other color so i hope you get that one too okay before then let's try to see if you can get arabic uh, aspect of it too let's add more text text that's it the text is really here sorry text text so this text now now see edits let me see if it will work if arabic will work as a let me check let me check now i'm trying add a language yes bismillah ba sin mim Bismillah, Abraham, 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 Ah, by now, I'm gonna write by now. Oh, what's up? This is me. This is me. What's up? This is me. This is me. Ah, good. Okay. Oh, nice one. It's shoes. So, this is me now. Let's see. I want to give it a. Yes. Let's see. I want to. Align it because no more my not get the align now. No worry. So let's see. I want to put text background. So I click on this new color gradient. We are in black a bit, but we put red. You can see. So this is how it works. So your assignment now is that on your own. Against tomorrow, what you do is that you will open your Excel. Ah, sorry, you open your pixel block, and by default, you write your name, your your name, your date of birth and what you have gained tonight what you have gained today so rather what you have gained today in text message so everything on a page just my name is Susu Susu my age is 29 I gain how to I, I understand I've been able to understand how to increase funds how to uh add text background how to add shape and the like so just write it there on the page and that is all for today hope you enjoy if you have any question please don't forget to drop it in the if you have any question don't forget to drop it inside the uh group i will be so much happy to uh give you a lending and till next time my name is the means i have enjoy your day bye bye bye